Well, thanks everybody. I'm Bob Webb. I'm the Chief Business Development Officer here at Clearly IP. And today what we're gonna cover is our SendFax 2 product suite. Uh, it's just a better way to fax. I'm gonna start with an introduction to Clearly IP. I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the problems with faxing today and then delve into our SendFax 2 product suite and how that can create a better way to fax. Just a note that the microphones are off uh, among the attendees, but we do have a Q&A section, which we will get to uh, at the end. So you can put your questions as we go along into the, into the Q&A and we'll answer them uh, at, the end of the, at the end of the demo. So, uh, and then we're gonna finish with a live demo of our SendFax 2 product. So clearly IP, uh, we are a VoIP company. Fundamentally, we are also a growth company. I like to emphasize that. Our flagship product is called Clearly Cloud. It's our UCAS platform. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about its feature set. Uh, we also manufacture uh, IP desk phones and gateways, which we sell directly to our partners at great prices. Com Exchange uh, is listed here. That's a specialty solution for hospitality industry. We're actually um, the PBX in over 1,800 hotels nationwide, serving more than 400,000 rooms. Um, we have a number of others. We've been in the SIP trunking business for a long time. And today we're gonna be talking about SendFax 2. So what's the problem with faxing today? Uh, it really boils down to me, the problem with faxing today is transport and interface. Um, why do I say that? On the transport side, uh, what's been happening is the copper that faxing runs best on is being pulled out of the ground and being replaced with fiber. And transparently to a number of end users, they're now doing faxing over a VoIP solution without knowing it or knowing it and still not getting the performance they were accustomed to getting. If they're lucky enough to be able to keep that fiber on the transport, uh, the copper on the transport side, just for their fight for their faxing business, the prices have gone up. So what we're offering today is an alternative transport solution, primarily email um, uh, solution, which will take the cost out and increase the reliability of faxing. On the interface side, I include the interface side as well because basically the interface of faxing hasn't changed. You stand in front of a machine and you wait for it to process a page at a time. Obviously the improvement when you go to email is you're now dealing with attachments and uh, things can be very, very quick and rapid. So our, our solution, SendFax2, is primarily a fax to email solution or an email to fax solution. And when we think about faxing, what we're really thinking about is a phone number based protocol. A fax goes from a phone number to a phone number. What we need to do then in order to provide an email transport to that is marry one or more, phone, one or more email addresses to one or more phone numbers and support both inbound and outbound faxing. We'll talk about how this empowers mobile faxing. We'll also talk about a fax appliance we have at the end, which allows you to continue to use your existing fax machines, um, but change out the transport. Uh, and then we also offer all this through an API. So on the inbound faxing, what we're going to do is we're gonna marry up to two email addresses to a phone number. And then with that phone number, Anybody can send a fax, anybody with a fax machine anywhere in the world can send a fax to that phone number. It will be answered by the Clearly IP sent to fax service and delivered to one or both of those email addresses. So you can receive that fax to an individual email account. You can receive that fax to an email address that's a distribution group. And we'll talk later, you can receive that fax to an email that's completely managed by a multifunction printer. On the outbound faxing, on the outbound faxing side, what we can do is we can take up to 100 email addresses, even domains, uh, and marry them to a phone number. Again, it all comes from marrying these addresses to a phone number. Now, you can send an attachment to any phone number that is a fax machine out in the world. So now your email is on sending out, 
you're going to send that fax to any phone number in the world that can respond to a fax. You're going to send it to that phone number at sendfax.2. You hit send, the, the PDF or the other attachment gets delivered to the Clearly IP fax servers. And then the our fax servers deliver that fax to the end fax machine. So once you've enabled email faxing, what else can you do? Well, multifunction printers have scan to email capability and email to print capability. So you can now turn your multifunction printer directly into a fax machine that transparently deals with the hard copy paper. If you're still dealing with hard copy paper, you can manage that all with your multifunction printer. Again, your cell phone is an email capable device. You wanna start faxing with your cell phone, take a picture, convert it to one of the standard extensions, one of the standard types that we support, and send that email to phone number of any fax machine in the world at sendfax.2, and we'll deliver that as a fax. On the inbound, you're just answering the email on your phone. Where it's a little bit different is there are some industries, and you know if you're dealing with faxing, you know why you're dealing with faxing. It's some business partner, maybe a healthcare agency, maybe the government that requires you to be dealing with faxing at this point. And if you need to keep that fax machine, you also have our SendFax2 device. In this situation, instead of marrying an email address to a phone number, we're gonna marry that phone number to a port on this gateway. This is a, in some sense, a standard uh, media gateway that's gonna convert um, POTS on one side to HTTPS on the other, other side. So you plug your fax machine into a port here. Your fax machine believes it's connected to a phone line, and then you send it. This device converts the fax and delivers it securely over HTTPS to our servers. It works in the reverse direction as well because you've married that phone number directly to a port on this box. Uh, it supports up to two ports, so two physical machines, and all the transmission is secure over HTTPS. I'm not going to go into any detail here because I'm not a programmer, but all of this functionality is available uh, with a RESTful API. Uh, if you if you choose to integrate web functionality directly into your custom application. And now I'm gonna to go to a live demo. What I'm going to show is just that. We're going to uh, set up the service. We're gonna marry uh, uh, email addresses and phone numbers, and then we're gonna do some faxing through email. So this is our trunking platform. Um, uh, this is where you buy a tenant, either a Clearly Cloud UCAS tenant or a SIP trunking tenant. We use the term location for tenants. And we hang this faxing service off of a location. So I'm going to create a new location. We're just going to create a SIP trunking location. Now, nothing here is actually going to register over that SIP trunk. We're just creating the location as a place where we can hang the faxing service. So what you're gonna see is no charge eventually on any of this service. All right. I'm gonna create a location name here. We don't care about international calling. We don't really care about any of this other stuff because we're just creating the location to hang our service off. Now we're gonna buy a phone number. I'm gonna buy one from uh, in Wisconsin. And I'm normally do business in Appleton, so that's where I'm gonna do it. And we're going to see here. 
We don't worry about emergency services. We're not going to have any add-on items. Uh, I'm an employee, so it's not going to make me pay any money at this time. And I'm going to agree to the terms of the service. I'm going to skip the email and submit this. What I've done there very quickly, for those of you familiar with our platform or not familiar with our platform, what I've done there is I've created a SIP trunking location. Again, none of this service is going to use that SIP trunking facility, so there'll be no charges to the customer. If you're already a partner of ours, you can hang this service off of any of your customers' existing locations. All right, so here's our new location. And the first thing we're going to do is create something called a fax inbound group. So I'm gonna add a new fax inbound group. And we get inbounds on order safe. So this is my inbound order team. Now here I can assign this to a single email, to two emails, or up to two emails and a port on that fax device. We're just gonna do a single email at this time. Now on the inbound side, that fax is gonna to come to us as a PDF. And for security, I can encrypt that PDF with a password. I'm not gonna do that right now. And I am gonna add a primary email. This is why I should cut and paste. There we go. Save that, save that. So we've now married, or we've now set up this email as a capable of receiving inbound faxes. We're gonna use the same, uh, we're gonna use the same solution on the outbound fax side with the same email address. I'm gonna add a new outbound fax group. We're gonna say our outbound faxes is a, uh, oh, let's call it a sales team. So they send that. Uh, you get to specify a station ID. This is a 21 character thing that you see on the top of every fax up to 21 characters. I'm gonna call this SIP fax demo. And that would appear on any outbound fax that I send. On the email side, I can type an email just like I did before. And add it. I can also add the entire team at Clearly IP if I want. What that means is that anybody whose email address is clearly IP can now send a fax uh, through our system. Now, try to enable all of Gmail and it's gonna say, no, you can't do all of Gmail. I, I'm gonna take this away because I don't want uh, more work than I have when I clear this up later and save this. Say that and close it out. So what we've done, we have an inbound fax group and an outbound fax group. Um, but what we haven't done is change the way that the phone number we purchased routed. So that's the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the phone number that we purchased and we're gonna look at the routing options. You can see right now this call routes to this location. As you remember, we set up a trunking location. So if somebody were to dial this number, it would attempt to route down that SIP trunk. We're gonna modify this and we're gonna route it to faxing services. And I wonder if I bought 
the wrong phone number. So just bear with me one second while I check the phone number. And I have a backup site if this doesn't work. So. It is supported on this number. I'm going to try it one more time. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to go to. Oh, I need to turn on faxing services. I apologize. Let's go back here. I never bought fax pass. There's my mistake. All right, I'm going to show you now our faxing service. You can buy in a high volume or a low volume. Our high volume service includes 2000 minutes. Our low volume call includes 300 minutes. We're going to buy a low volume service here and we're just going to buy uh, one path now. Again, I agree to terms. There's no immediate charges on this. close that out. All right. I just want to show that um, uh, right now we don't have any metered services, so I only can make one fax at a time. If I want to make more faxes, uh, have the ability to send or receive more faxes at that time, I can add metered services. I can put a limit on how much uh, you'll pay for metered service. And you can see the rates for your metered pricing over here uh, on faxing. And you can see it's two and a half cents uh, a minute uh, for metered faxing. So with that being said, I'm now gonna go back to my phone number. I'm gonna change my routing option. I'm gonna be able to apply it to fax services. I'm gonna select the inbound order team and the sales outbound fax, save that. A couple of other things that I'll, I'll show you in a minute uh, where you can check out uh, and see your progress on faxes, but I'll come back to that. Uh, and now let's go to our email account. All right, so let's send our first fax. So we could send it to any fax number in the world. We're gonna send it to ourselves uh, because we just created it. We're gonna send it to ourselves at sendfax.2. Um, the subject's gonna be my first fax. That will appear on the cover page as will, this is my first cover. And I'm going to attach a picture of our mascot fishing. It's been good luck for me so far. All right. We're going to send that fax out, and I'm going to take you now um, back to our trunking site and just show you a couple of other things on our e-commerce portal here. Um, you can get a feel for all the faxing services that you as a, as a customer are leveraging at any one time. Uh, and then you can also view CDRs. Uh, the fax CDRs show up on a separate page uh, and uh, we'll, we'll come here as well. Let's go back to our email and oh, 
so what is coming back now and as you saw when i went to the to the portal i have more than one outbound fax phone number so it's saying hey i can send this fax to here but which of your outbound phone numbers did you want to use so i'm going to click here And I'm trying to remember which one we just did, but I'm just going to pick any of these. So come back here, check our inbox. And if we wanted to avoid that screen, we could have said to send a message to that at, and then we can specify the sender, the origin right here in the, in the outbound thing, outbound email and this will be our second fax and just a cover sheet uh, our first fax has come back you can see we did receive the fax here it came as an attachment our first cover there's sippy phishing and we also received a notification on it and that's the whole solution so uh, what are the purchase options we have the low volume purchase plan for 9.99 we have the high volume purchase plan for 24.99 and if you are interested in that device that device sells for two dollars $2.50, but it only works with our plans. Uh, it's not a generic gateway, uh, won't work in any other scenario, but with our plans. Any questions? Let's run over to Q&A and see if there's any questions. Uh, first question is, I'm having trouble with the audio. Can I get a recording of this to watch later? Yes, the recording will be posted later and we'll be sending out emails uh, with that information. Can we see an example of a failed or bounced fax to a non-fax enabled did or mobile? I can try to do that in a minute. Yeah, so the price of the next question is, um, could I have a rough estimate on the appliance to tie into a physical fax machine? The, the As we said, the appliance is two, $250 MSRP. If you're a reseller, you would get it at your uh, discount level. Um, you actually don't purchase the uh, appliance through the store. You purchase the appliance through the trunking portal uh, on the page that we looked at. I can, in fact, uh, show you where that takes place. If we go back into our location here, you buy the, the product down here. when you add a new fax device and it will calculate the, the, the scenario for you. The question is, are there any ramifications for not having E911 compliance set up on the fax only did? Worst case scenario, what does send fax to back and do if a fax is attempted to a 10 digit number for a non 10 digit number, for example, 911, 811 or 411? I don't know the answer to that, Thomas. I will get back to you with that and we'll send an email out to you. I've never attempted it. Um, next question. Does Senfax 2 provide an application compatible with the RICO Smart Operations Panel? Uh, Robert, I don't know. Um, you know, if there's time at the end, I can turn your mic on maybe and you can help us understand what's going on there. But I'm not familiar with, with the RICO Smart Operations Panel. 
Uh, the Senfax 2 really would integrate. The next question is, does Senfax 2 offer an application capable of downloading and printing to designated printers? Um, again, it's an email interface, so there's no additional printing interface uh, available. If that printer had an email to print functionality, that would be the only scenario where there would be a direct interface. Um, yeah, I'll be very clear. The price of the fax is two hundred and fifty dollars of the of the fax device. Uh, if I said two fifty, uh, uh, as the question is asking me, it says, did you mean to say two hundred and fifty dollars rather than two dollars and fifty cents? Yes, I meant to say two hundred and fifty dollars for the fax device. Um, Yes, yeah, so I, uh, the next question, as you mentioned, uh, clearly IP does facts in minutes, uh, not pages. Do you have an average of pages per minute? Yes, we do. In fact, uh, when you look at those plans that we looked at, it did cover them, and I, I probably breezed through them pretty quickly. But um, 300, 300 minutes is about 400 pages on average. Uh, and then you can just do the math as you go to 2,000 minutes. It's about 3,500 um, pages uh, there as well. Are there any more questions? If not, um, I just want to highlight right now that um, I'll be doing a demonstration on our call panel, uh, which is our, our web-based, WebRTC-based uh, soft phone and communication uh, council uh, that's associated with our UCAS platform. I'll be doing a demo on that next week. If there are no more questions, I just want to thank everybody for joining us today. Please register for our next event and we'll uh, and thank you. Thank you for taking the time to join us today.